What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. Today we're doing something that we have kind of neglected the past few months, but something I really want to get back into. The R32 GTR. We have something that I've been waiting for for a while. I actually forgot that I ordered this, but I ordered this a while back from Sabin. It was out of stock and it just came back in stock. They emailed me that they had it in their warehouse and had to come pick it up. We're over at Entice Motorsports because Sabin is right next to their shop. And today we're installing a brand new super aggressive carbon fiber hood on the GTR. Now, this will also assist me in the turbo build that we're gonna do, which by the way, the turbo is in. This is gonna help keep the RB26 a lot cooler on the road with the vented hood, because the stock R32 hood really gives like no airflow. But with the carbon hood that we're about to install, we are gonna be perfect. So this is also just in time, because the Super Street Meet is tomorrow. So now I get to take the R32 to the Super Street Meet with a carbon hood, the new Nismo LMGT2, and just super clean and aggressive. We've neglected this thing for way too long and today we're changing that. You got, hold on, hold on. It just went up, fellas? So I'm not gonna walk you guys through this I'm sure you know how to install a freaking hood, but we're gonna get this one, we're gonna get the OEM hood off and then I will show you guys the Sabin one that we got. What, wall valves? I've been waiting for this for so long. Incredible. This is the closest I'll get to the Z-Tune hood in America right now. I love it. I, I, I had my doubts, honestly. Yeah, what? I'm, a, I'm more of an OEM guy, so for me, that was pretty dope, but. This is sick. I thought it was gonna be too over the top, but I think it's perfect. No, it's perfect. It's, 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 not, it's not full on Z-Tune with the four different scoops, but it's just enough and it has a little hint of the R35 scoops in there too. So I think this is gonna be really good. And like I said, it'll also help us out when we actually do the turbo build. How good does the GTR look with no hood? Once we actually have the single turbo, on this perfect all right the hood is ready to be put on this thing looks so aggressive and i really like how they already painted the mesh on this black so i don't have to actually take these off and do it carbon is going to look so good on the 32 so we're about to go ahead and install the Sabin carbon fiber hood Okay, new hood is lightly bolted in. We're gonna go ahead and set it down to make sure we don't have to shift it to the left or to the right. Let's take our first look. You wanna go ahead and do the honors here, John? Check it out. How are we looking? I don't know, it's pretty fucking even. It yeah, nice. it looks pretty good. I think I'm a tight Oh, it looks freaking sick though. Oh my gosh. Dude, it changes the front end so much. It's really good. Holy crap, I didn't know it looked like that. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so we are having one small issue where, where the latch on the Sabin hood is actually hitting the bracket that locks it. So we do have to shave a little bit off of the latch on the car, which is gonna be super easy. I'll explain in just a second. But I don't know if you guys can tell, seeing the hood scoops on the front is so sick. So if you guys can see this, this small piece right here is actually connecting with, with the edge of the latch on the hood right there. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and grind that little piece down just a small bit so that it clearances this right here. Here goes nothing. God, <laughs> it looks so sick. Wow, completely changes the front of the car. 
Oh, successful hood install. The Sabin hood fits very, very good for an aftermarket hood. And a lot of times when you get carbon fiber stuff, it doesn't fit the best. You have to do a lot of modifications. Thankfully, we didn't have to cut anything on the hood. We just had to modify the little bracket that locks your hood in place and kind of grind it down a little bit. The end product is amazing. The GTR was definitely lacking something, and I think the hood made the car way, way more aggressive. As you guys can see, it completely changes the whole front of the car. It looks amazing. Let's go over some of the details. One thing that I really like is that it adds this little curve on the front of the hood. If you guys don't know, the Nismo R32 GTRs actually had this piece and they are super, super rare and hard to find. This one kind of adds it into the hood, which I like. It gives it that little extra body line to tie everything in up front. Then you have the two massive hood scoops up front, which will get some air to the RB26. Because If you guys don't know, RB26s run very, very hot. Granted, they like to be hot, so that's good. And then the two little like R35 GTR scoops up front and the carbon just looks amazing. The carbon also helps tie in my carbon fiber mirrors. If you guys forgot about these, these are the garage active carbon mirrors. And I think it's just like an extra little touch with the carbon fiber hood now. Oh man, I'm so hyped on this. I like it. It's Absolutely sick. killer. Killer. I'll still put some more aggressive wheels on it. <laughs> John's hating on the LM GT2s. I agree that they don't fit the best, but I don't know. I just... I like the styling. I, 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 I just feel like the hood is like super aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the wheels are so subtle. I agree. I agree. I've, I've been contemplating getting them rebuilt or not. They're just so OG that I don't know if I want to tear them apart and like re-lip them and everything. So I'm still deciding. I'm still deciding. I would rebuild them. Or at least, can you you could rebarrel these too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe save the original barrel. Just so if you ever want to put them back to stock, you can do that. And then get a little bit of a bigger. I agree with that. I think that would look I agree cool. with that. But for now, I think the hood completely changed it up. That's it. <laughs> John. Hood is installed. Now we're gonna head over to my friend Sean's house. We're actually gonna wash these cars because like I said, we're heading to the Super Street meet tomorrow and that's the first time I've taken this GTR to a car show in a very, very long time. So I'm so excited. We're gonna wash both the NSX and the GTR and we're gonna cruise up to Super Street tomorrow with the brand new hood and stuff. So, but also we're gonna do a little night shoot tonight of his NSX and my 32. It should make like a cool shoot because that's something that I haven't in a very long time. And I told you guys this year, I'm trying to get back into my photography and videography and stuff like that. So let's head over to Sean's house. All right, we just made it to Sean's house. Sean got a new house, by the way, which is super dope. What's up, bro? What's up, yo? What's and for those of you, Sean actually just got an S2000. And the NSX is back. So tomorrow, me and Sean are cruising to the Super Street meet. So before we cruise there, I haven't washed the GTR in so long. So we're gonna get this thing all washed up and get it ready. Cool, bro. Oh, nice. We have finally finished washing the car and we made it to the gas station to get some gas for the road trip tomorrow. The car looks amazing now that it's all clean and we're getting it ready to go. To the Super Street event tomorrow and I am so stoked with how amazing the hood came out. It is perfect. So there are a couple of shots I want to get around town tonight. So a little bit later on, I'm going to take the GTR out and go get some, some pretty awesome night shots that I kind of like got inspired from Japan. But of course, while we're here with the station okay. lighting, I'm going to go ahead and get some gas station shots. One last thing I really wanted to do was do a shoot in front of a 7-Eleven. And I just opened one up right by where I live. And it kind of just gives off like the Japan vibes because they have all the family marks and stuff over there. And I just thought it'd be super cool to do a mini shoot of the GTR, the 7-Eleven. So I'll insert a couple pictures here and then show you guys a fully handheld little mini video that I made with the GTR. I think it came out super cool.